Hey everyone, welcome back to AK Academy. Here we have a new video and a new set of a series, sorry, that we are going to build a real world application one more time after the plan wrap. But this time we will be focusing on server side before the client side. So basically, we are going to have a lot. This is what we are going to talk about in this introduction video. If you are the first time to join AK Academy, it's Ahmed Mudafa with you. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer and a software engineer that basically uh, works in the world of .NET, Azure, and uh, Blazor and this kind of thing. So this is what basically I'm, I'm, I'm teaching. Uh, <clears throat> what we have over here is a real world application that actually it's not only for tutorial that I'm going to teach you how to do some kind of stuff. Actually, this is an application I want to build for myself. I'm going to explain the problem and the solution in a bit. And I decided so, okay, let's go ahead and uh, I will, instead of building this application alone, I, I'm, I'm going to record it and make it as a course. So you can, what you're going to see over here in this course, nothing is scripted. And uh, you, you will see how I'm going to resolve real world problems that I'm going to face and uh, how we are going to, to deploy this application fully for free without doing anything actually, <coughs> or, or pay, sorry. And uh, here we have a very big questions we will, that will come up and we're going to answer during this course but before we get more into details let's just describe the problem that we have and what we are going to solve so basically our application from the what you can see over here it's called expenses tracker so it's something related to your expenses and incomes and stuff like that so what is the problem that i currently have from from a user perspective before from a development perspective so Many of you right now, like you have a source of income, like your salary or maybe your business, or maybe you have multiple sources of income and you have multiple bank accounts or maybe one, or maybe you don't have a bank account, you use cash and, or you use PayPal or you, so you have many sources for income or maybe one source of income, but multiple places to store your, your, your income. And at the, on the other hand, you have a lot of expenses. You pay for food, you pay cash, you pay for transportation, for telecommunication, you pay for subscriptions that sometimes you subscribe and forget and then you see so basically you reach a level where you don't know where is your money basically and how, how they are going and or how you spend them you just get the salary and suddenly boom like nothing over there so well where they are okay so, so you have some invoices from here and there but they are not in one place you don't know your behavior you don't know where you are where you are spending them and you have that especially the subscription that that's actually a pain at least for me you have, you have a subscriptions and sometimes i use paypal to pay sometimes i use a card sometimes I use the prepaid card and like i don't know how to manage them so basically this is something hard so this is the problem that i face and i have known too many people that are actually suffering from the same problem so we need to come up with a solution for this that actually going to track how we how we manage our incomes and expenses and put them in one place and check our behaviors with some statistics and metrics and we can have some reminders for specific subscriptions because we subscribe because the subscription model is much better than being one time for example let's take an adobe when you subscribe for photoshop and you pay only for one month if you need it it's much better than the previous uh, kind of payment where you have to pay the full app on a one-time big payment so but right now you subscribe and suddenly you forget and you basically keep charging month over month which is which is so you end up being just like paying the full product but so th there is no benefits we need we need a centralized place to track our expenses so we need to record them in one place we have a reminders we have stuff like that and uh, we are always in charge of, of what, what's going on and we know what, what what's happening from one single place. So what is the solution for this? So basically, the solution is going to be a fully cloud native application that we will are going to develop step by step. It's going to be free for use, using and free for development. Like many people say cloud is expensive and it's not for individuals, which is this is not the reality actually cloud is much cheaper than the normal applications but you need to choose the right resource you need to choose the right plans and you need to be careful but if you do that it's much much cheaper than building a 
a full app and then you host it somewhere, especially when it comes to licenses and you have, if, if we don't talk about like a cracking or piracy, it's always much more expensive than building cloud apps. And this time we are going to be fully native on the cloud. We are going to, to build the API fully using the serverless technology that we are available for us on Azure, like using Azure Functions, Azure Storage, Cosmos DB, Azure Logic Apps. We are going to describe the architecture in a later video, but this is what we are going to use basically. And from a client side perspective, we are going to use Blazor and .NET MAUI because we want our application to be available on mobile, which is the most important thing because you need an easy solution whenever you pay something to directly open your mobile app and insert what you have what you have paid or, or the same when you get an income so we need the process to be easy and of course the mobile here is is exactly the right choice for us so <clears throat> we need it to be available on app store google play and we wanted to make it available as a windows app because i like windows and yeah make it available on the new microsoft store is a very big thing so basically this is what you are going to do this is what you're going to build we will start at the beginning by the server side fully we are going to use to build everything and then we are going to test the full flow using postman we're going to discover a lot in postman and amazing feature that that going to mimic your your client side application in a in a better way we're going to the azure active directory p2c yeah we're going to talk about the architecture in a later video but this is the solution, this is the problem, and we are going to code that together. And uh, the GitHub repo will be available out there. You can find the description, the link in the description box below. So you can, it's open to contribute. And as I've said, this is a real app. I'm building this app for myself. I'm going to use it. Maybe my friend's going to use it. Maybe you can use it. But at the same time, you can build it yourself and you can host it on your own if you don't want like the data to be uh, on my Azure tenant, for example. So that, that, that actually fully works and uh, it's going to be a very interesting journey and it's not a big app it's going to be simple but it will covers everything that you need to basically uh, develop a full cloud native solution from a server perspective and a mobile uh, solution from a client side perspective so um, I hope that you, you we are going to enjoy that and uh, if you have been subscribed already please make sure to hit the subscribe button as a kind of support to continue add more and more and um, if you have any kind of uh, comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to put that in the comments below. I'll, I'll be, be happy to, to hear your thoughts on what you're going to do. And uh, for now, this is everything for the first session. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.